From the News Channel 5 Network, here are tonight's headlines. I'm Carrie Sharp. The city of Nashville could be held liable for mistakes made by 911 dispatchers while responding to the Waffle House shooting. A judge made that ruling at a hearing today. Metro dispatchers initially sent responders to the wrong Waffle House, delaying help for victims and survivors. The city filed a motion last month asking the judge to dismiss this lawsuit, but the judge refused. A Metro police officer appearing to use excessive force on a woman has submitted his resignation. Officer Barrett Teague's resignation will go through after he serves a 30 day suspension without pay. He was decommissioned on July 4th after video surfaced of the physical confrontation. He has a history of complaints and disciplinary action with Metro police. He could still face criminal charges. Talk about a good boy. This pit bull killed a copperhead snake after it got dangerously close to his owner. This happened in Davidson County. Arlo sprung into action after the snake got near his owner, Haley McCormick. He grabbed the snake by the tail and started shaking it before killing it. Now the snake bit his face multiple times and he had to be rushed to the animal hospital. Copperhead bites are fatal to pets, but Arlo is expected to be Okay, glad there's a happy ending there. Let's check the forecast now with meteorologist Bree Smith. We'll keep the chance for a few lingering showers and storms overnight tonight, but all in all, the widespread nature of the activity will continue to decrease. So the cold front that came through the area, I say cold with an asterisk because it's not that cold, but the energy associated with that front continues to march its way across the mid-state. It'll leave us in the upper 80s tomorrow. It's a couple degrees cooler than Monday. Not much, but we'll take it as we head towards the middle of this work week. Doesn't last long, though. As soon as August gets here, bing, bang, bong, the mercury goes back up into the low 90s.